Hi, my name is Matthew Banks. I'm a band director in St. Louis, Missouri. I am on the brass staff with the cadets, and I'm also a part of the organization on Marching Counts. Today, I'm going to talk about low brass mouthpiece exercises along with some breathing exercises. First, let's start off with some breathing exercises with your ensemble. Doing some stretching to help eliminate tension, focus on body posture, to help make good airflow the norm when making music. Hopefully this will create the feeling of ease while playing from the beginning of every day. I would invest it two to three minutes at the beginning of class, alluding to those breathing exercises throughout the rehearsal to help create awareness of the feeling of ease. So it can be easy as doing in for four, out for four, um, in for eight, out for eight, or doing the up and down in your arms, in for four, doing those same exercises, getting that tension out of your body, getting them to relax and getting, this is how I should be playing when I'm, uh, when I'm on my instrument. Also, I recommend investing in, if you don't already have it, the Breed Gym. It's a great resource if you do not already have it in your library. Get it. Um, second thing is incorporating the buzz while you're playing. This really benefits low brass players because buzzing on the mouthpiece because it takes more air buzzing than it does playing your instrument. Buzzing creates a clarity in the low brass sounds, and that's what we're wanting to. I would do about every 30 to 60 seconds of buzzing, rest for one minute, the in between there. And the reason why you could do the rest, the reason why I say put the rest in there, because you can add the airflow uh, the breathing exercises into that act. And so now you got breathing and buzzing activities to, to start a class. You're incorporating both. A lot of times as directors, I know we get bogged down with a lot of things. We tend to leave out buzzing or we tend to get leave out breathing, but incorporating those two, you're now fusing them together and you're utilizing your time more appropriately. There are two types of buzzing activities, both which improve low brass playing greatly. First, glistening on the mouthpiece from note to note when moving. For example, you can go from buzzing from B flat to F. Again. Okay. We want to do that glissing every now and then. Reason why we want to practice that, it would help eliminate the dead spots and ensure the great buzz response when playing. Glissing is also a good ear training too. When, when do we stop glissing? Until the students can get it accurate by audiating the next pitch while glissing. That's what we're hoping for, you know, that we're training their ears to get in, you know, to lock in on those pitches. Another thing is target buzzing. So for example, you're taking the gliss out and you're going from B flat, F, okay, that's what we want to be doing in our target buzzing, making sure that they can hear it and buzz it exactly. Um, breath attacking such mouthpiece exercises accurately can bring great improvement to the low brass response and centering of pitches. Okay, with, with the air, makes buzz, makes great tone on the instrument. Okay, total time investment for your class, it should be, you know, somewhere between five to eight minutes, you know, right before the start today. If you start to incorporate that with your brass section, it's really going to pay off. You're really going to see the dividends. Um, practice sequence and during your rehearsals, just to kind of remind the brass of the focus on it. I would take a wind pattern music excerpt from you know, one of your ensemble pieces that they might be struggling on, the little brass might be struggling on. Have them doing on their palm in their hand, you know, playing whatever, and then have them buzz it on the mouthpiece and play it on the horn. Now you're reinforcing what you did earlier in the class period. And as always, Model as much as you can for your student if you're not proficient at the low brass instrument. Play recordings of professional tuba players like Michael Lind or Arnold Jacobs or Richard White, just to name a few. Thank you for your time. It is good talking to you. Have a great day.